rise to governance will lead to corruption. Tinubu not taking advice, Prime Minister Ayodele. I don't know why this government feels is throwing things to the issue of ground that will bring about a solution. What are the things that we need to do for this high can prices of goods in the market to be curtailed? Farmers can't go to the farm, insecurity here and there. They are not tackling that. They are throwing things, they give them money in December. We don't know where that one ended. This Mamara now is throwing rice again to the state governors. Well, let's listen to this news. The leader of Inri Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Ayodele, chastised the federal government of Nigeria for sending trucks of rice to state governments. Ayodele said the development would only lead to more corruption and hardship because governors don't care about the needy. In a statement by his aide, Ayodele made it known that the rice will not get to those that were really suffering. He said the governors would rather share it with their party members. He stated that Tinumbu's government was not ready to listen to good advice. There's no way this will get to the needy, those who are suffering. The Tinumbu government is not ready to listen to good advice. They are not doing what is visible. Nigerians are hungry and angry. Everyone is affected. The president must be careful. Sending trucks of rice to governors that don't care about the needs of the people, that don't share in people's pains, is tantamount to arbitrary corruption. They will give it to their party members, loyalists, and even hold it. Why is this government not listening? The more you bring such the more the hardship, the truck of rice will only increase hardship and poverty, and that is not the solution. Pramit Ayodele further noted that Tinubu's decision will kill Nigeria's economy, advising him to listen to advice that can help the country. And what the president should have done, the prophet made it known that the trucks of rice should have been taken to markets across the country and sold at lesser prices to the people. Well, how many people have the money to even buy them? If you take it to the open market to sell, those that have the money will buy and go and resell. So the permanent solution is to get farmers to mass produce this thing and let it flood the market. This is simple mathematics. Like God revealed to Pharaoh about farming, God has revealed to prophet the situation, of the situation of Nigeria. We have said this in 2022 about what Nigeria will experience. It is better the government listens before it kills the economy. The government should take should have taken the trucks to market across the country and sold them at a very subsidized rate to the needy. The impact will be felt more than giving it to state governors. He added, state governors have no plan for their people. Self governors that all they think about is same themselves and nothing more. Well, let's listen to the response and comments of the people. What makes you think the market people will not buy and resell the product at higher price? That's true. Our president has good mind, but my concern is that some of those governors and their commissioners will share the stuff between themselves and their families, and the aim will not be achieved. I can remember during Shagari regime, we lined up at different centers to collect the rice, sugar, and milk in my local government, and at least 80% of the masses benefited. The population then and now are not the same, and you cannot gather people now and begin to select who and who to buy. Tinumbu people policies is not showing that he has interest of the people at heart. This is very simple. Provide security for farmers and food stock will become cheaper. They, their brain no rich like that too. Now corruption fill their brain. Why give rice to people that will know they are not going to give it to the actual needy? Why not sell the rice at low price? 
as little as 10 kg, I mean 10,000 naira per bag in the market, it might force the prices to even go down further. If care is not taken, those rice will be resold in the market at more expensive prices. It happens in Kano. The state governor and the SSG, and SSG took the palliative rice to a warehouse and checked the sack and sold it to the public, which led to a physical fight between him and the governor. So President Bola meant to do Bush should take a bold step on this matter and make sure that the supporters equally get it in the state where APC loses election. They will keep 50% for self-campaign in 2027. Good idea, but not all traders can afford to stall in the markets. Markets should also be open at every local government across the state. La Lagos State is doing with food items sold at subsidized prices. Also, the government should subsidize the imported food locally produced items so that they could get to the market very cheap at the control prices. Same goes for drugs and petroleum products. Well, the government, the president has been sending money to the state government and we're feeling the impact. He's appealing to the boys to remain loyal. Don't have, they don't have the interest of the masses at heart. The political equation is the poorer you are, the weaker your ability to resist oppression from the government. The rise is not targeted at the poor. Nigerians, if he really wants to alleviate poverty, let him reduce the fair pump price or allow free duty importation of rice and wheat. The rice palliative are for the boys. Why not Tinubu see struck to the whole 774 local government in Nigeria? Nigeria better than share them to state government that is greedy like they did during COVID-19 palliative. Don't rise will not reduce poverty at all. Tinubu is not sensitive to the plight of Nigerians as regards issue of food insecurity. No problem, state governors and their court will still share this among themselves. It will go the way of COVID-19 palliatives that was stocked away and dished out only to friends and well-wishers. Why a land turned got spoiled in the warehouses. I thought government should have learned from that to not let history repeat itself. History has always found a way of repeating itself in this country. Will they listen to this advice? What is your own comment? Kindly make it as you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you, good day, and God bless.